Hello and welcome. Today, I'll be talking about free marketing tools you can start using today to enhance your marketing. Coming up. So starting off with number one, Facebook Pixel. Now the Facebook Pixel is very, very good because what you, what you can do is you can retarget your visitors that come to your website. And by doing that, it means that you'll pay less towards your advertising with uh, Facebook. And also it means that the people that have visited your website are likely going to see your ad because they are interested because they came to your page in the first place. So the Facebook pixel is very, very good for retargeting. Okay, let's move on to number two, the Google URL shortener. Now, this is free. I mean, before I used to use a tool called Bitly, but what I realized is I was on the free plan and because of that, I wasn't seeing all the tracking that I really wanted to see. So a chunk of all my stats were labeled as unknown and that was very frustrating for me. So when I discovered the Google URL shortener, I mean, it was a much different experience because now I could access all the links and they and, and Google could tell me what links people clicked from. So all you have to do to set it up is uh, if you already have a Gmail account is you just you just type on this URL and then you just shorten the URL. And every time you go to your dashboard, you can see exactly how many people clicked on your link from which audience. Now, this is very important in marketing terms because how do you tell which strategy is working? So maybe you've, le you've left your link on, say, LinkedIn and YouTube. Now, YouTube may be bringing you majority of those links to your page or your website, but without actually tracking it, there's no way of telling. So if you can measure it, it's very important because you can then spend more effort in whatever platform is bringing traffic to your website. Okay, let's move on to number three, Google Webmasters Tools. Now, this again is fantastic because this dashboard will give you an idea of which keywords are actually bringing you a lot of traffic and also how you're ranking with that keyword. So it's very, very important. The other thing is it also shows you if your website is indexed for Google to be able to see your website in the search. Now, the next one I think is also very important is, especially if you're using a WordPress website, it will show you all your errors. So if, if there's something wrong with your website, it will tell you all your errors. If your website is hacked, your Google Webmasters tools will show you that or warn you that that's what's happening with your website. So you can then go ahead and uh, fix the problem that you have with your website and then you're good to go. Okay, let's move on to number four, the YouTube uh, Pixel. I mean, it's AdWord Pixel, but uh, I mainly use mine for YouTube. Again, similar to uh, the Facebook Pixel, it's for retargeting. So everyone that has come to your website or has watched uh, your videos, you can retarget them with, uh, with another video because these people that have watched your video are likely going to watch your next one because um, they are interested in that niche that you're in. So again, it's brilliant and it's free. Let's move on to number five. And now if you're serious about uh, marketing, you do need to build a list. So MailChimp is on my uh, number five on my list. It's free up to 2000 emails. And that's a lot if you're starting off. I mean, if you get to 2000, surely you'll be able to pay for um, the next level up for the pricing because that list can bring you money or you can use it to market it in various ways. But up to 2000, you cannot worry about paying for anything. So I would suggest building up your, your email list using MailChimp because it's free. Okay, let's move on to number six, WordPress. Yeah, believe it or not, WordPress is free. You can actually go set up your website today and get it up and running. Having a website is very, very important in terms of uh, if you want to do marketing because that's your base, that's your platform, that's where you want people to come. If you invest all your effort onto uh, social media platforms, what happens when you get banned or what happens when that company goes out of business? And this has happened a few times ago because look, MySpace is gone, Vine is another one, is gone. So think about how many people invested so much money and effort into Vine, it's all gone. So who knows what's gonna happen to uh, all the other social media platforms that we have today. I'm not saying Facebook is going tomorrow, but I'm just saying, you know, anything can happen. But if you do have your own platform where you can have everything on there, including your mailing list, your traffic and everything, that's the best thing you can ever do. Also, the other thing is 
you could post something unknowingly and get banned. You know, you could post a video on uh, YouTube with your massive following and get banned. But if you have a massive mailing list that you're building constantly, you still have people to communicate with. So that's why it's important to have your own website, which you can then use a tool like MailChimp to collect all those emails. Okay, let's move on to number seven. And uh, this is Canva. Now Canva is very good. It's similar to uh, Photoshop. You can just go uh, and design all your graphics all online. So you don't have to worry about buying um, a tool like Photoshop and learning how to use Photoshop because it's very complex with Canva. It's very straightforward, it's easy, and also it's free and online. So if you wanna uh, create your thumbnails for your YouTube videos, you can just go to Canva and just use that tool. And uh, so yeah, that's my uh, seven things that you need to, to get started with your uh, marketing online. Now, here's another thing. If you haven't built your WordPress website yet, don't worry. I've got a course which I created. I'll leave the link in the show notes below. Click that link and then you can go ahead and start learning how to create your own WordPress website. So uh, the course is complete. It shows you right from uh, how to register your domain name up to having your WordPress website up and running. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, see you soon.